So you see there are two plenty. You look at this wild guppy and this is very dangerous if we can mix this together with your breeder guppies. Hi guys, it's another beautiful day once again and you're here back at Dexter's World Channel. Today I'm so glad because I was successfully able to breed our another batch of goldfish and this is my fascination to breed all these ornamental fish like koi, like goldfish, mollies and many other fish in the future. We are going to show that to you guys, the actual breeding of this ornamental fish. But the question is, Dexter, how would you take care of the fry? What food are you going to feed them? especially in the first seven days of their life. I have to tell you that we are using the baby brine shrimps but only as an alternative food because in our place we are lucky enough to have this dapnia. Well dapnia are crustaceans and others would mistakenly call them the mosquito larva. No, they are not the mosquito larva but they are the small living organisms that can be found also in the stagnant waters. And I would like to share with you guys that dapnias are just readily available here in our place. If you will look at this side of this property, we can see so many dapnias and they are available every day. So guys, we are going there today and please be with me, we will catch some of this very tiny living organisms. In catching Dapnia, we will use this very fine net. And of course, I have here a plastic container with water in it. And we will proceed there and we will watch how we're gonna catch this one. Come on. So you see there are two plenty and you will see that there are also some native guppies that are also being caught and this is also a very delicate thing to mix our guppies with these native ones because this will really affect the quality of our breeding because this native guppy will also breed our Dumbo mosaic guppies and other high quality guppies. So we will ask permission from our friend Arnel if we can get inside this property and get some dapnias inside because I believe that inside his property there are too many dapnias and you can also see his pets. Come on. This is my friend Arnel and we are so thankful for allowing us to get inside his property and you look at his pets. He is also a fish lover and you will see some of his pets that are right here. The ducks. Come on. And we are here privileged enough to get some. You will see that this this water is filled with dapnia. You will see this one. The actual gathering of this tiny living organisms. You will see this one. Yes, there are two plenty. You see that? These are the best food for our fish. <laughs> So we will now proceed to washing this dapnia. I am tempted to have a taste on this but this is dirty so maybe we'll just ask the fish if why they are so eager to eat this one. Fresh food! just beside this tank. 
Well, we will wash this now and you will see that our guppies have smelt the savor of this food. You will see that, yo, this is your breakfast. You will see that they are gathering around. You look at the goldfish, they're coming because they are really very eager to eat this dapnya. You know, goldfish can smell the odor of this dapnya. And we will put uh, some of this inside this aquarium, like that. And you will see how they gonna eat this one. Well, since goldfish can just be caught by hand, you'll see, you will see, they will eat that. Wow! <laughs> you will eat. That's your breakfast. <laughs> you will see that these goldfish are eating so fast. I will put this calico. There's another big fish here that I would like to catch. Uh, this is the breeder of Butchoy, and I am going to breed this in a couple of days from now. That they are really very eager to eat the food. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes, 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 yes. You see that? Woo! These are delicious food. This is a male buffalo rancho and this is the female. This is the female one. You look at the tummy and my way of conditioning them is to give successively dapnya or even fly, housefly or this uh, egg yolks that rich in protein so that they will be prepared to lay their eggs. If you are intending to breed your, your goldfish, we have to make sure that seven days or one week before you're gonna intend to breed them, they will be given sufficient food, live food. So we will check another tank. Come on baby kois, I know that you are very hungry now. As soon as they will smell the odor of this food, they will flock and eat. You look at them. Every day I am giving just a little amount of this dapnya. And I would like to repeat once more that we don't have to overfeed our fish with dapnya. It's far more better to just give a small amount of it than giving an overdose of this food, this dapnya. Well, you look at them, they are too busy. And what about our baby goldust? Remember last time when we bought this goldust breeders on the street? And they are too plenty now. They are very easy to breed. They will multiply rapidly. And what about the kohako certain? You look at down below. They are also here. And they are also asking for food. Well, come on fish. You eat this very delicious breakfast. If you don't have dapnya, well, of course, you can use the BBS. But still, if you don't have BBS, as what I have said, there are many alternative food like the egg yolk and the beef heart. You just grind it very fine and you can feed that to your fish. We'll go to the tank of this black-tailed swordtail. Come on, but there are breeders and once again, they have too plenty of babies now over here. Every day we are collecting this one and every day we are gathering more than a hundred babies. You will see that they are also very happy to eat this delicious food. This is another type of sword tail. Uh, this is different from the kohakos and this sword tail has seven swords. You cannot just catch them so easily. Maybe we have to reduce the water before we can catch them. Feed Dapnya to our breeder Orandas and we will see how they're gonna like to eat this one. Uh, come on, come on, come on, your breakfast is here. They will gather and eat very fast. They really wanted to eat this live food, this Dapnya. But still, I would recommend to give just a small amount of it. 
you cannot overfeed your fish with this dapnya. Just give a small amount of it and it's already enough. So, what about giving this to our guppies? Well, we also have here the tank of our Dumbo Mosaic guppies. Come on guppies, come and eat. I've just made a harvest on them and I was able to gather around thousands of them and they are now being displayed at the pet store. What about the babies of our sword tail that are here? Come on. They really also like to eat this one. This is the babies of our sword tail. And also this Red guppies are also very eager and waiting to eat their food. You know, guppies can breed so rapidly. What you need is plants in a space where they will receive sunlight. And these guppies do not require frequent water change so long as you have live plants. You will see that there are two plenty over here. Some of them have developed their colors already. And if you will see, the pale ones, they are the female. So that's the thing that I'm doing here every morning and it gives me some relaxation before I go to office. If you are a hobbyist, I know that you know what I'm talking about. The hobby is a kind of recreation that gives us, you know, happiness, joy in our hearts and will enable us to make this life more better to live. So that's the thing we can share with you today. I hope you will continue to like and share our videos and I would like also to recommend the channel of my son Dexter's World Junior. He has also some videos and he really wanted to also become a YouTuber and that's uh, the support that I can give to my son. So thank you for watching. And by the way, shout out to our members who joined Dexter's World channel. And I would like to specially mention Dominic White. Good morning to you. I know that you are also a breeder and I hope that all is well. Thank you for watching. Only here at Dexter's World.